Anyways, today is Saturday. And they have still not added the last part of that track up there, as you can see. Um, they have the crane out and they're adding more wood and stuff, but uh, I don't know if that's the top or not. That could be. So, once again, let me zip around here and have you take a little look at that and you tell me what you think. Let's see if we can't get you a little closer, first of all, to the fence. And no one knows what the true height is going to finally be, but it is interesting to note that the other ones haven't been erected upright past the top rung, so maybe that is the height. It's um, Maybe that's where it starts to go down, perhaps? Surely when I come back out here on Thursday, I'll be able to get more information for you, but let me go over the fence here, take a look what's on the other side. Oop, sorry about that. I'm trying to darken it up a little. It's a little too bright out here today. Super sunny. Welcome to Texas, right? Okay, so there's uh, that piece of track. Pretty cool. Really interesting stuff. I guess I could zoom into the workers there and see what they're up to. Yeah, it looks like they're just putting some more planks down on that. So the question is, is this burrito stand the longest in Texas and the tallest in Texas? That's what a lot of people are asking. So let's see if we can't find Carl one of these days and ask him exactly if that's true. Is it going to be the longest and tallest in Texas? Cool. Wow, well, let's see. So let's figure this out for the design. Let's see, it goes in that way and then it goes up. Okay, I think I got it. So I this from the right. Like they're putting the first boards down. That's cool. Nice. 